surgery is the only way in which you can remove 100% of the abnormal cancer cells from the patient's body and not 99.999% but 100%. Lung cancer is a scary diagnosis. Unfortunately, it's still the number one cause of cancer-related deaths worldwide. But the good news is that lung cancer can be cured and treated to a large extent. The journey of a lung cancer patient has three main steps. The first step is establishing a diagnosis that the patient has lung cancer. The second step is classifying the lung cancer into a particular stage. And the third or final step is the treatment of lung cancer. So very broadly speaking, there are four stages of lung cancer. Stage one, stage two, stage three, and stage four. Now this staging is decided on the basis of three important factors, T, N, and M. T means tumor, N means node, and M means metastasis. The tumor size and location decides the T variable. The lymph node status of the chest decides the N status. Lymph nodes are tiny P-shaped glands inside our body found at various locations which get enlarged in a particular type of a disease be it infection or be it cancer. An M stage is decided by the presence of metastasis. When a tumor has moved from one original site to different other sites of the body, that's called a metastatic disease. So since we are talking about stage one lung cancer today, so what is stage one lung cancer? Stage one lung cancer means that the lung cancer nodule is small. It is less than three centimeters. It's surrounded on all sides by lung parenchyma. There is no nodal involvement which means there are no lymph nodes which are positive and there is no metastasis in the body. So how do you detect a stage 1 lung cancer? Since the tumor is so small in size, it's less than 3 cm in size, it rarely causes any signs and symptoms. Most of the times it's picked up on a routine x-ray or a CT scans that's being done for some other reason like in a pre-employment checkup or when you are undergoing some other surgery and you do a pre-anesthetic checkup and an x-ray is done and that nodule pops up. But if a stage 1 lung cancer is close to the windpipe or the airway, it may irritate the airway and cause cough and that may lead to detection of that lung cancer. Other symptoms being hemoptysis which means coughing out blood, chest pain or back pain, loss of weight, loss of appetite, a change in voice like a hoarse, hoarseness of voice or a raspy voice is also one of the symptoms of lung cancer. So how do we diagnose a stage 1 lung cancer? Stage 1 lung cancer is diagnosed first when you have an incidental finding of an x-ray or you have some symptoms and do you do an x-ray and you spot a nodule either in the left lung or the right lung or somewhere else. And then you do a CT scan to confirm the exact shape, size and location of the tumor. You also look in the CT scan for the presence of any lymph nodes near the lung or in the mediastinum or somewhere else. This is followed by a biopsy of the tumor which can be done by a CT or an ultrasound guided method when it's on the outer third of the lung. When it's in the inner third of the lung, you can do a bronchoscopic biopsy or an EBUS, and then you do a PET scan. Once you have established a lung cancer diagnosis, now you need to see whether the tumor is only inside the lungs or has it spread to anywhere else. It can spread to the brain, it can spread to the adrenals, bones, liver, and many other places. You also do a MRI of the brain to look if the lung cancer has spread there. PET scan is not a good modality to look for involvement of the brain for so how do you treat stage 1 lung cancer? Surgery is the gold standard for treating stage 1 lung cancer. Surgery is the only option which has the possibility, a potential possibility of curing the patient completely. Surgery is the only way in which you can remove 100% of the abnormal cancer cells from the patient's body and not 99.999% but 100%. So in surgery what you have to do is that you have to resect the part of the lung in which the tumor is located. So normally our lung is designed in a way that it has three lobes on the right side, upper, middle and lower and two lobes on the left side, upper and lower. Now these lobes are further then divided into many smaller segments. The standard of care worldwide these days for stage 1 lung cancer is that you do a lobectomy. 
you resect the lobe in which the lung cancer is found. What you also do along with it is called systematic mediastinal lymph node dissection. You dissect all the lymph nodes that are around the lung and the airways and around the heart where potential lymph node metastasis can happen. There's also growing evidence that you can do a segmentectomy for stage 1 lung cancers but it's usually limited to stage 1a lung cancers which means tumors that are less than two centimeters in size. They're located in outer one third of the lung, tumors which have no nodal metastasis. So these days there's also growing evidence that we can actually do segmentectomies instead of lobectomies for early lung cancers. Now, a very important study was published in The Lancet in 2022, the JCOG0802 trial. So in this trial, 1106 patients were enrolled and half of them were put in the segmentectomy group and half of them were put in the lobectomy group. Now the patients who were put in segmentectomy group were only stage 1a tumors which means the tumor size was less than 2 centimeters, there were no lymph nodes, the tumor was in the outer one third of the lung. Now what was observed at the end of the JCOG trial was that the local relapse with the segmentectomy group was higher around 10.5% as compared to the lobectomy group which was 50% less than that but it did not translate into a poorer survival. The overall survival was actually better for the segmentectomy group about 94% for the segmentectomy group and about 91% for the lobectomy group. So if you have a smaller tumor your surgeon can also offer you a segmentectomy. Often after resection of stage 1 tumors your surgeon or your oncologist may also advise you to undergo some form of adjuvant therapy. This depends on tumor characteristics found on the final histopathology report. Now this can be an adjuvant chemotherapy or these days also adjuvant targeted therapy or immunotherapy which is also very promising. So if we treat stage 1 lung cancers aggressively the survival is very very good. The overall survival of stage 1 lung cancers is close to 70 to 90 percent and in stage 1a tumors the survival is actually more than 90 percent.